customer brought in a 2010 Toyota Prius 1.8 liter engine. This vehicle has about 95,000 miles on it to put it in perspective. The code that it is setting is a P2195 for oxygen sensor stuck lean. And we're gonna go for a ride and see what we can figure out on this vehicle by monitoring data stream. We will monitor the air fuel ratio sensor, which is basically your oxygen sensor. It's located in the exhaust manifold and the exhaust passes by the sensor. It reads how much oxygen is in the exhaust to see how clean the engine is burning and closest to proper 14 to one mixture. We also will monitor the airflow sensor. This is located in the air snorkel tube and it measures the volume of air that's coming into the engine. And then we have our fuel trims, long-term and short-term. We want them plus or minus 10% and this will show us what adjustments the computer's making to the mixture on the engine based off of the other two airflow sensor and air fuel ratio sensor. We're gonna drive the vehicle and what you will notice is the airflow sensor, the number will go up much higher the harder you're stepping on the throttle and that's in direct correlation to how much air is going into the engine. You can see the short-term and long-term fuel trims are staying around zero. And our air fuel ratio sensor is pretty close to where it needs to be. Ideal is 3.2 to 3.4 volts. That would be exactly perfect if you're just cruising. The higher the number, the more lean it's saying the system is, and the lower number is the more rich that it is. We got the vehicle back to the shop. And one of the things we do before we go into our test drive is we clear the codes because we want to see if the code is going to return or not to see if it's active. Checking with our Snap-on scanner, we look forced for the current codes, uh, which there is no current codes in the system. And then next we'll check for pending codes. And you'll see under pending codes, that code did come back the P2195. So that means this is an active issue. We also need to check some basics on the vehicle. We're always going to check engine oil level, coolant level, and see what the condition of the air filter are. These are just very simple checks to do that sometimes can lead to problems and you don't want to overlook the basics. All of those items looked pretty good, so we will be recommending replacing the air fuel ratio sensor on this vehicle. So the customer approved us replacing the air fuel ratio sensor, and now we're gonna go on a test drive to look at our values to verify if we have fixed the problem or not. And of course, we will rescan it for codes again to see if any codes return after multiple test drives because usually these vehicles need multiple drives sometimes to set codes in the system. So as we're looking at these data stream values, what do you see? Do you think the air fuel ratio sensor fixed the problem? What do you see different between the first values and these values now? So my thoughts on the situation are I see a lot more activity on the air fuel ratio sensor and also on the short term and long term fuel trims. Those numbers seem to move around a lot more. So in my opinion, that sensor was pretty lazy. Put in the comments below what you think.